It's time for gaming guys on the iPhone 13 Pro Max with all that pro motion goodness. Let's jump in. All right guys, Thunder E here and we have the iPhone 13 Pro Max and we've got ProMotion, all that goodness here. And before we start, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, notification icon to get notified with more videos on the channel because we'll be covering so much more on the iPhone 13 family. And I also want to give a big shout out to our sponsor of the video, Spigen. They make some awesome cases, which I've been using for years. I've been a big fan. And they do make cases for the iPhone 13 series, including the Pro Max. So the Pro Max is here. I have the Sierra blue color. It looks really nice. It's a little bit lighter than I thought it will be, but this device packs in some new features that I'm very interested to see in terms of gaming on an iOS device, especially for an iPhone. It's got a ProMotion display. So this display gives you 120 Hertz refresh rate, which is absolutely great. There are no settings for you to switch on and off like you find on Android devices. It basically does it automatically for you. Now, of course, you can do that on other devices as well. But what Apple says here is that, look, just use your device and you get those features. So if you're reading text, it will drop down to 10 turn, uh, Hertz. If you are watching video, it will go to 24. And if you're gaming with games that support 120 frames per second, 120 Hertz, it will also go to 120. So very simple, very easy. Now we also have a bigger battery in the iPhone. Well, I don't know the size, but Apple says should give you about two hours more in terms of battery life. So we'll see how that actually works with our whole gaming session. But let's, let's jump into some of the games first. So the first game, Call of Duty Mobile. Now this is just to basically just test things out, see how it runs and see how that display feels. And honestly, while gaming, it feels so much better. It just feels like you're gliding. Uh, that feeling I've had on Android devices for the last two years, I, I now am enjoying it on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So for me, that is really good. So you made shooting and all that stuff good. In terms of our benchmarks, we're getting, you know, 59 frames per second, uh, which is great and it runs pretty well. There were just no issues with it whatsoever. Now moving to PUBG Mobile, we played both uh, key settings, which is Smooth Extreme and Ultra HD Ultra. And in terms of uh, stats, Smooth Extreme, uh, we got that at 60 frames per second. Ultra HD Ultra, that also hit at 39 frames per second. Everything ran really well, so I have to say it was good. And honestly, the sound is amazing off of this. Most people aren't talking about it. The speakers on the iPhone 13 Pro Max is improved. It's about, I believe, 25% louder, but let's just take a listen to the speakers themselves and you can hear all those gunfires and shots. Okay, so sounded great. And I think I'm gonna be doing the speaker test for you guys, so stay tuned for that. Subscribe and check it out because I think you're gonna be amazed with what the iPhone brings to the table in terms of audio this year. Now, before we continue, let's take a quick word from our sponsor, Speakit. Now, Speakit makes some really great cases, and the reason why I have them as a sponsor in this video is because, look, honestly, we buy smartphones, and we need to protect them. And I like the array of cases that Speaking has. I've been using them for over 10 years and it's great to sponsor with them. And normally I use the thin fit case, right? And that's the case I like to use because it's light, it's flexible, or sometimes the liquid armor, um, which also is a very flexible case to use. But recently I like the mag armor case. Now, the reason I like that case, especially for the iPhone 13 Pro Max is that number one, it allows me to use the power arc uh, MagSafe connector, so I can actually charge my device while gaming, which is great. But the other thing also, it's got those nice ridges allowing me to hold the device more properly. It doesn't slip out of my hands if I'm playing for a long amount of time. And it also helps dissipate some of that heat. And speaking of heat, whew, we got some on this device. So the iPhone 13 Pro Max, uh, you know, when you game for a while, this bad boy runs up in heat. So uh, while we're playing Genshin Impact, which we'll get to the stats in a second, I 
uh, got temperatures up to about 43 degrees Celsius, around 114 degrees Fahrenheit. So that ran pretty warm. I was hoping Apple would do something about cooling, but that's still not a focus yet on this device. And that brings in something else that, I, that was brought to my attention, is that when you game on your iPhone, I was told this and I thought it wasn't true. You game on your iPhone for a long period of time, uh, or at least for a short period of time, according to this uh, individual, uh, your screen will just dim down because of the heat, heat issues. Now, that happened to me after two hours of gaming, my screen dimmed down, I, I cranked up the, uh, the brightness and it still stayed the same. This is why I was playing um, Street of Rage on Xbox Game Pass. So that is just something to take note and something that I think is affected by heating on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Now, back to Genshin. That's the game we care about because that's the game that pushes the limits. We put our settings at the max, which of course is 60 FPS. And I must add the caveat here though that none of these games are optimized yet for the iPhone 13 Pro Max or any of the iPhone 13 series because the device is not out if you're watching this video before it actually launches. So that being said though, I played Genshin for 30 minutes and uh, my FPS at the end of that 30 minutes uh, gameplay session was between 46 to 48 frames per second. Beginning of my gameplay session, it was closer to 60, about 59 to 60, and it gradually dropped down. Within 10 minutes, it had dropped down to 50 frames per second. So that's just something to let you guys know, at least within that 10 minute uh, time frame. Now, is that something that I'm bothered about? Not necessarily. I think I'm going to do an update to gaming uh, in a month or so because of a couple of things. Number one, I don't think it's optimized, but I also that at least that gives me something of concern that I will have to check out later. And the other thing too is I did check out a ton of other games and I couldn't find a single game at this point in time that I could play at 120 hertz and get 120 frames per second. There was just no game. I played some Vainglory, which I'm terrible at, and Daniel is making faces because he's like, how dare you try that again? And I also played uh, some uh, Grim Valor. I played a few other games as well that I just wanted to see how it actually formed and performed and functioned. And honestly, all those games ran well. Vainglory ran at a constant 59 frames per second. Uh, we also had uh, a game called uh, uh, the Court that ran at 59 frames per second. We had a game called Word, uh, which also ran at 59 frames per second. And in terms of our streaming services, Xbox Game Pass and Stadia ran well. No issues other than if you have a poor internet connection. The one thing I will bring to people's attention, and I think a lot of people should pay, uh, pay note, is the size of the iPhone 13 Pro Max and it's slightly revamped design with the raised, the second raised uh, edge around the camera is not great for certain um, game controllers. So I have the backbone controller, which I tend to use a lot with the 12 Pro Max. It will fit, but it doesn't fit all the way on one side. So basically your iPhone can slip out quite easily and you can actually bend the lightning port in there. Now, the Kishi from Razer still works perfectly and works well, although I prefer the backbone controller. Just a side note for you guys, just to make sure that, hey, look, if you're using any of those controllers, these are some of the issues you might face with the iPhone 30 Pro Max, or you could just go with the Kishi and you have no issues whatsoever. So all right guys, that is gaming on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. At the end of the day, I feel that you're gonna get the same kind of solid performance you're getting from the year before. I think we have to wait for some updates to see games to run at 120 frames, as well as also be better optimized for the A15 chipset, which is a very powerful tip chipset. In terms of, uh, you know, uh, battery life, uh, battery life so far has been good, but I can't give you just that short limit test. So. In a month, I'm gonna give you a long-term look at how battery life performs in this device. But if you wanna see other games or is there anything particular in that one month review, guys, leave those comments down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Definitely check out cases from Speaking and always enjoy your entertainment.